Looking ahead for you now, Colorado Springs welcomes thousands for tomorrow's Fallen Firefighter Memorial. And with the welcome, there are also some traffic cautions. Yeah, Bill Folsom in studio tonight to break it down. And Bill, a lot of information for folks to digest, so give it a shot. Okay, we've got a map on. for them. A couple things to tell you about. First, you need to know there's a procession that starts at University Village Shopping Center, which is up on North Nevada. It heads south. There's going to be some rolling roadblocks along the way, which means if it hits where you're trying to cross the street, you're going to be stuck here for maybe 10 to 20 minutes. Then it comes down, hangs uh, left here at uh, Colorado Avenue, goes up into Pikes Peak Avenue. And this is what you need to know about that is that there's going to be some road closures there going from Institute all the way down to Union Boulevard. That's going to start in the morning. It's going to be all day long until they break up from that. Also on Hancock Avenue going from north to south. One more thing, plan on a record crowd. Bolts of what's to come. More than a thousand practicing for the Fallen Firefighters Memorial. It seems a large crowd, but consider this group will stand. Then there's all the seating for family and friends of the Fallen being honored. We have approximately 3,400 chairs set up and they all will be filled and around us in the grass will be covered with people standing and watching as well. There's more. The number signed up to take part is around 7,000. From the honor guard, the families, and then the firefighters that travel across the, across the United States and Canada. Um, and then we can give a rough estimate about the, the citizens coming down, but we'll never really know that until they show up. Everyone's welcome with lots of room in the park. Getting to the event requires some planning. Park out and walk in. That means finding a spot on the street in nearby neighborhoods or on the other side of the park. To ease parking issues, there are other options for invited participants in the ceremony. Bus is running from our host hotel, and then we have also little shuttles, um, 15 passenger vans and cars running from the outskirts hotels as well. And to give you some perspective on that crowd of 7,000 plus we're talking about, if you were to go to an ice skating match at the World Arena, total there can be up to 7,500. We've got this 7,000, but they're expecting more than that, so we could top what you can fit in the World Arena. Again, that is a big crowd, but worth, worth seeing if you've never been there, right, Rob? Boy, it absolutely is, Bill. Thank you. And that memorial service, again, free, open to the public, begins at 11 at Memorial Park. Now, if you're unable to see it in person, News 5 will be airing that ceremony in its entirety. You can catch it on our secondary channel, 5.2, and we'll also be streaming it online at koaa.com.